uh, June 16, 2001. We finished cleaning of Space 158, and uh, and then we finished photography from the air, uh, from the ground, and we uh, e are in the process of drawing it. Uh, there are not big surprises here on this in, in 158. After we cleaned it, we actually can see the same situation as we had seen before we finished cleaning, which is number of our features here in the corner in the south and the white floor. The, the old cut in here that comes from uh, the floors above is still visible. And what's more visible is this cut here, your 8112, which is the cut that was killed with the rubble and most likely made in relation to the pillar of V-164, which was removed from here. Now we are working on uh, removing this, the, the end part of the floors of this platform, which is supporting the wall. And then we'll deal with which wall on this side in 158 is contemporary with the wall on in 86. And then we have the round feature in here, uh, which is sealed with a little uh, lid. And our uh, our clay balls, and then a big oven. Um, one thing that we did in addition to the previous day is uh, we can completely the feature 635 which is our early your early west wall and we can see now how the plaster from the floor went up the up the wall and we can also see if you come closer jason that the plaster in this part of the floor goes down and creates a, a channel-like, receptacle-like feature in the floor, and then the plaster goes up on this end. So that seems pretty curious, and we'll see what it is once we dig out the wall and clean that area. In the, if you come, Jason, to this side, in the cut that, uh, on the features of 50, we can see that under this floor, which is a yellow floor as opposed to the white floor, which we have on, in the rest of feature 158, we don't have any white floor. We cannot see at least any white floor. What we can see is another oven, remains of another oven, earlier one, that was most likely right here in the place where the later feature 750 was cut, so it cut through the oven and disturbed the remains of it. So we can just see the, the, some of the remains of it. Um, so we can imagine that the earlier oven was right here and then in roughly the same place, but just closer to the edge of 150, this visible oven was. So what is characteristic generally for, for Space 158 is that the, the, uh, roughly, the not roughly, but almost in, uh, exactly one half of the space was covered with white floor. That is from the center south, because we see that the white floor goes all the way to this corner feature in the south, and all the way to here. Most likely it went all the way to the wall, but we just didn't have it preserved in that very south part. And then from the oven, to the north, what we have is the yellow brownish clay floor, which we had in this part of the space uh, until we removed that floor last year at the end of the excavation. So the, the floor that is contemporary with this floor around the oven, the floor in this area would have been, was the same as this floor where the oven is. So exactly one half, the northern half, looks like dirty floors, and the southern half looks like clean floors, which is unusual because we would have expected it to be the other way around, the northern half to be clean and white floors, and the southern half uh, to be dirty floors, which would be typical for the pattern that Mellor talks about, and, and would be more suitable for the pattern that we have in the house, which is the north is more clean and white, and the south is actually kitchen and dirty floors. 
So we have totally reversed situation in 158. It's just to tell us that uh, there are no pattern, patterns <laughs> at Chaturhuyuk. Uh, then, that's that. What else is visible now that the, the 158 is clean is that most likely this oven originally, the edge would have been somewhere on this line between this uh, uh, top and that. So the, um, the edge, the eastern edge of the oven and the mouth part would have been up to here where my hand is going, but it was disturbed, disturbed and destroyed by the later remodeling of the house when the screen wall was introduced here. Uh, we, we, I talked a little bit more uh, in detail about because from now on, as soon as we finish drawing, everything will start removing the features that I talk, talked about and we'll start going deeper down on another floor because we can see already in our cuts that exist there that we have another uh, white and a thick white clay floor down below. Um, in terms of phasing, the floor that we see in 158 uh, most likely is our D floor, is our major uh, and the earliest phase of the D floor in that area. Uh, we will uh, confirm that by the time, or we will cancel that by the time we get on the lower um, white floor that I have mentioned, which is below. And um, then we did some...